I wouldn't say that much na it's for flipping property. Um, you might do capital appreciation, but I don't expect you to double your money here. It's a bit more expensive, lalo na if you look at the price per square. There are a lot of other, yun nga sa capital appreciation, it's not as high. Everything is walkable, actually. You don't even need to park. You just need to, to get somewhere na palagi naman meron transportation to nearby areas. Yung ability to invest ng younger generation. It's something na na-consider ng developer na to. As low as 4,000, wala kang makikita kahit saan. The layout is unique. For its payment option, it gives the lowest monthly for me. Another one is the future progress or development within the area. Hello Real Pros! Welcome back to the part 2 of our Project Jade. And for today's video, we'll be doing a property review and we'll finally be revealing kung anong property nga ba to. Okay, so together with me are my colleagues and licensed real estate brokers. So we have Aaron, who is not new to the Real Pro videos. We have Ellie, who is first time niya dito. So magalo ka naman Ellie sa ating mga viewers. Hi guys! Welcome! <laughs> so first time you dito sa property review and we are excited to have you and hear your thoughts about this new project. And we have Brian of course and Marge, pinaka maraming guesting sa ating mga real pro videos. So we're going to finally reveal the property. So the property na tinur natin from the last video uh, when we showed you the actual lot is called All In by Ortigas Land. So this All In is a very different property compared to the previous developments the Ortigas land because all in in general uh, means what? All in. All, all, all in. All. Yes. Pag sabi natin all in, ibig sabihin, it's for all. So, wala siya specific market. And Ortigas Land would usually create high-end development. But for the first time, they're actually targeting the entire real estate market of all class level. So, this project might be feasible investment for you depending on your strategy. So, let's start our property review discussion. Okay, guys. So, let's talk about Ortigas Land in general. So, as I said, Ortigas Ortigas Land has a record of building high-end projects. In the recent years, a lot has changed with the direction of Ortigas Land, especially with their synergy with Ayala. Kasi si Ortigas Land medyo mas bago-bago siya. They could really use the expertise of Ayala. And we all know that Ayala caters to all the markets. They have the Amaya, the Avida, the Alveo, and the Ayala Land Premiers. I do feel that this synergy, ganun na rin yung direction. So Brian, could you tell us more about the unit type sa All In? So basically all in will have a studio and a one bedroom studio units will comprise of four different sizes ranging from 19 square meter 20 21 and 25 square meter and for the one bedroom it will have a 32 and a 36 square meter but what's good about their studio unit is medyo unusual kasi sir yung cuts mm -hmm. usually when we have a studio unit that with this kind of size medyo open usually you want especially mm -hmm. the bedroom kaya most of the buyers here uh, don't like to purchase a studio unit because of the privacy issue thing but with the unit layout that all it has nakatago kasi sir eh, kung maglalagay ka ng bed it really has a privacy on it. okay sige so hindi siya ano yeah I've, I've actually only seen one condominium in Makati that had this studio unit cut. And alam niyo yung sinasabi ko. Kasi we know market natin yan. The more interesting part for this one is they're trying to compete with the SMDC property. SMDC is known for selling studio properties because it's much more affordable. I'm not discrediting SMDC for doing that. Pero SMDC kasi gives opportunities for people to be able to buy condominium units now because their cuts are smaller so it becomes more affordable. So parang ganito yung approach ni Ortigas Land Dito. For me, it is an opportunity for people to buy a condominium that is not SMDC. There is nothing wrong when you buy SMDC. There is just like an option owning a studio unit from a high-end developer. For me, ito yung number one pros nila. Usually sa high-end development, like sa Alveo, a studio unit would now cost around what? 
uh, 10 to 12 million. So, ito medyo mas at par talaga sa SMDC. Okay, so having said that, Ellie, how much ba yung price nitong all-in na to? So, as what Brian mentioned, the studio unit starts at 19 square meters and starts at 5.6 million. 5.6 million. So, that's the lowest price for this all-in. Yes. Ang one-bedroom is? For the one-bedroom niya, it's on the range of 9.3 million. That's the start for the smallest one-bedroom, which is the 32 square meters. And then, for the 36 square meters niya, starting at 10.5 million. Okay, so how much is this per square meter exactly? For the launch price niya, we are at 291,000 per square meter. So, sabihin na natin 300,000 per square meter. So, that's a little bit high, no? Compared to the average price per square meter. But it might be affordable kasi mas maliit yung sizes niya. So, let's compare it doon sa property na katabi niya, which happens to be the Grand Midori Ortigas. So, honestly, hindi ko in-expect na mag-launch pa ng condominium beside the Grand Midori Ortigas kasi medyo maliit lang din talaga yung land doon eh. So, how much per square meter right now ang Grand Midori Ortigas, Marge? Grand Midori is around 240 to 250,000 per square meter. But they usually have like bigger cuts. Yeah. No? So the total contracted price would be a lot higher. And then Grand Midori Ortigas now at this point in time would have shorter payment terms which is? Around 40 months. 40 months. And how about for All-In? Ilang months pa si All-In? All-In is around 70. Okay, so 40 months versus 72 months. So in terms of your monthly amortization, magiging mas mataas talaga si Grand Midori Ortigas. Pero let's uh, compare it apple to apple. How much yung TCP ng Grand Midori Ortigas for a 36 square meter unit? For 36 square meter Grand Midori na studio unit, it's around 8.3, 8.5, mga ganang siya. Less than 9 million. Okay, ikaw Ellie, uh, how much is a 36 square meter for all-in? For the all-in, it's 10.5 million. 10.5 million. So, that's a lot higher, no? Pag the same square meter. But remember, for Grand Midori Ortigas, this is your smallest unit. For All-In, this is your biggest unit. So, I don't think uh, there is a competition because it's not the same market. If there is a competition within the area, I would say it's more of like the Pearl Place because the Pearl Place by Robinson's Land is purely studio units catering to students, to yuppies, to workers. So, they do have the same market as this one, no? And I wouldn't say that much na it's for flipping property. Um, you might do capital appreciation but I don't expect you to double your money here. So that, that that's an honest review. I'll talk more about it later in detail. Let's talk about more of the market affordability. So, um, Aaron, could you give us an overview of the market ng Ortigas? Because you work in Ortigas for the longest time and in this area then. Could you tell us more about sino bang market sa Ortigas? In terms of in traditional market ng Ortigas, it's more of not the high-end market. If you see the surrounding areas, meron dito yung mga Valle Verde, yung Green Hills, White Plains, all nearby Ortigas CBD. And yun nga, for the longest time, yun yung indicator nilang market. But in Hollin specifically, given the TCP and the payment terms, it's more attainable. Given na nasa CBD siya, literally it's right across like tech type and one corporate. It caters more to the yuppies. That's a good point. It, um, it's across tech type and one corp. As seen dun sa previous video natin the last time. Uh, so how much usually yung salary ng mga taong nag-work around this area? A mid-level manager. Mid-level managers typically earn around 50,000. Yeah, month. typically earn around 50,000. I know a lot of IT people who works in the area and stock brokers who earns a lot. <laughs> so if hindi nyo alam, Ortiga Center used to be the stock exchange no center of the Philippines. So dito trinitrin trin yung stock. So there's a lot of like hedge fund managers who works around the area who who technically earns a lot and could really afford rent. So having said that, in 2018, I was renting out my studio unit in the area at around 25,000 pesos. If I could find the contract, I'll show it to you. I'm not lying. No, just because the market here could afford it. How much more pagdating sa turnover sa 2029. So I really think it's a high yielding property and there is market affordability around the area. One thing I like about Ortigas and probably we've discussed this in the previous video is about the location. It's very central. Nothing feels far, no? Especially everyone's going back to work now and then matraffic na ulit. It's really like walking from one point to another and you can really live a transit-oriented development 
management lifestyle wherein you walk going to whatever transportation. So yeah, you have of course two subway stations, which is the Ortigas North and Ortigas South. If you need to go to Naia or BGC, and you also have the MRT4 if you need to go east. Nag MRT ako recently ah, kasi medyo ma traffic na then may nahabol ako appointment. It feels a lot better than before. I think kasi marami na rin nag-aangkas ngayon. So medyo maluwag na rin talaga siya. But even if you take like Grab or other commute, it's gonna be a lot cheaper for you because you're technically in the center of Metro Manila. So kahit sang destination ka pumunta, prices would be cheaper. No? Not to mention all the malls na pinag-usapan natin from the previous video. Having said that, um, let's talk about the technicalities of this property as an investment. So sinabi ko pala kanina na I wouldn't recommend buying this property for flipping or like short-term flipping but it doesn't mean na you cannot do capital appreciation. But according to my report here, being conservative as always, well, we've always been conservative with our projection, you could earn up to 30% capital appreciation. And the basis of this 30% capital appreciation is the tranching system ni Ortigas Land. So what exactly is a tranching system, Ellie? For the tranching system ni Ortigas Land, they have a price increase of 5% for every 200 units sold. Okay, for every 200 units sold. And there are only like around 1,200 units yeah. for this property. So it means that you could actually earn like a minimum of 30% kasi 6 tranches yun eh. Bale, lumalabas. It doesn't necessarily mean na yun yung limit ng capital appreciation mo. But then, if we say for example, double yung price, who would buy a studio unit at 17 million or 18 million pesos? Kasi yun yung double ng price eh. No? So if you're interested in buying all-in, you might as well just buy it as soon as possible kasi baka biglang mag-second tranche na. Or kunwari, pagdating ng launch, Launching, merong 200 units or merong 200 letter of intent. You don't know, pag 200, 100, 200 ka, the price probably would have increased na rin ng 5%. So, it's a lot safer to really discuss the prices sa second tranche. Kasi baka, pag baka pagdating ng launching, more than 200 LOIs na yung nandun. And then, hindi mo na makatch yung first tranche. But I don't think it's too late to enter on a second tranche since 5% lang naman yung difference niya dun sa first one. So, that could be an advantage or disadvantage depending on the time kung kailang ka nag-purchase nitong project na to. So, time is a very important component for this project. So, mag-LOI na kayo, guys. But let's talk about payment terms since it's getting towards Gen Z and Millennials. Marge, could you tell us more about the payment terms ni Olive? For the payment terms, of course, we have spot cash and then we have other recommended ones which are 10% down payment, 5% within 72 months amortization and 85% balance upon turnover. For example, for a studio unit which is around 5.9 million, the lowest amortization for that is 4,000 per month and you only need a down payment of 500,000. And then for the second recommended payment terms which is 15% spread within 72 months without spot down payment and 85 months upon turnover. The lowest would be 12,253 per month within 72 months equal payment. Okay, so there's two recommended payment terms. Yung merong down payment, which is that could be like half a million to almost a million uh, depending on your type of unit and then just pay a monthly of 4,000 to 7,000 pesos per month. And the second one is equal payment terms. The equal payment terms would really compete with an SMDC property. Kasi ganyan yung mga monthly terms ng SMDC property. Eh. But then again, I would reiterate that you're buying a high-end property for this one. If a Gen Z or Millennial is earning around 40,000 pesos in behavioral finance, that's more than enough really to invest in this property. But for me, I would recommend the payment term talaga na merong down payment ng 10%. Why? Because if you have like half a million park in your bank account, meron ka lang talagang ganung savings sa bank mo, 500,000 to 1 million pesos, you could actually put that in and just pay, you know, 4,000 pesos per month. And 4,000 pesos per month is not that big. It's like you're just paying an insurance policy, no? It's not big for real estate. And paying 4,000 per month for 72 months, pag nasanin ka nagbabay the 4,000, para ka lang talagang nag-iipon, no? So you just really need that half a million 
Season 2. Put it there. And mas maganda talaga siya in terms of behavioral finance. Yun ang yung parang lagi mo yung February 1,000 mo dahil. Just forget about it. And then just pay 4,000 per month for an X number of years. And watch your money grow. I think that's the best strategy to do this. Kasi it wouldn't take much, a lot of your cash flow. It's really gonna do wonders for you. Then again, you could expect a capital appreciation of 20 to 30%. Good if it's more than that. There's a lot of strategies that you could actually do with this property for you to earn kasi hindi lang naman flipping yung strategy. Eh. Of course, we give those advice to our clients once they purchase the property. This property might not be suitable for families because of the cut. Currently, I live in a condo na hindi rin suitable for families because yung configuration ng condo where I live is only one bedroom or studio units. Na. And it's fun living with yuppies, living with the same minded people. You get to expand your network. There's really more opportunity that open. Plus, these types of condominium kasi meron na mga co-working space which I think is a very important thing when you're buying condo kasi marami na rin naka-work from home or naka-hybrid setup or even freelancers no, who actually earns a lot. No? So, I really think that's a good facility for this condo. But having said that, I think this is the last chance for Gen Zs and Millennials who haven't really gotten the chance to buy a property because nung bago-bago ako sa real estate when I was 22, 23, I was buying real estate. A studio unit would cost around 3 million pesos to 3.5 million pesos. May mga 2.5 million pa nga eh. But the monthly during that time was still 11,000 to 12,000 pesos even for a studio unit. And now you rarely see studio units na ganun lang monthly. Usually nasa 25 to 30,000 na ngayon eh. So I really think that in terms of cash flow, it's an opportunity for them. So long term wise for this strategy, wag nyo muna isipin yung TCP. Isipin nyo lang yung cash flow. And again, it's an opportunity to own a high-end property from a high-end developer. No? So it's it's giving us options compared to SMDC monopolizing the middle market. Kasi na-monopolize talaga ni SMDC yung middle yapi market. Eh. So I think it's just really a good uh, diversification and a good option to buy. So given our property review, it's now time to rate the property. I'll ask you one by one in a scale of 1 to 10, how good is this property? Both as an investment and as an end use. So, Aaron, uh, what is your rating and why? For me, it would be 8 out of 10. Parang despite the fact na it's a bit more expensive, lalo na if you look at the price per square, there are a lot of other, yun nga sa capital appreciation, it's not as high. Marami namang advantages yung property. Like the location, yung rental yield, yung potential rental yield niya, it's in a unique position that it's from a high-end developer that's relatively attainable. Correct, yes. So 8 over 10. Ellie, what is your rating for this property review? So for me, my rating is 8 over 10 because the layout is unique. For its payment option, it gives the lowest monthly for me. Another one is the future progress or development within the area. Yeah, like your subways, like your MRTs, etc. Ortigas is really reviving itself though. Okay, uh, Brian, rating and uh, why? Rating for this one is just around 7.5. 7.5 okay. because the point five there not many developments, uh, especially the mid end. Kasi yung si Olin, yung, yung window niya for the units is not a standard window type. It's um, the same height as the door. Yeah, kaya medyo mas malaki siya. It's so, 2.1. But regardless, the location itself is very nice since uh, medyo high traffic yung area na to. So lastly, yung ano ko dito is yung payment terms nila. This is a first, no? Um, Bihira eh, kahit si SMDC. Uh, though it would require you a down payment, but still, you cannot just have a monthly amortization of just around 4,000. So That's true. Okay, Marge, your rating and why? 8.5 for me because uh, it's everything is walkable. Actually, you don't even need to park. You just need to, to get somewhere na palagi naman meron um, transportation to nearby areas or to this area actually or to the city. Like mega mall, the biggest malls in town are are really close by. So you get the flexibility of being able to work here and also play 
the second one close to the subway the subway is just a few meters and then the third one yung ability to invest ng younger generation it's something na na consider ng developer na to as low as 4000 wala kang makikita kahit saan and then the next is yung amenities niya actually geared towards millennials and yuppies talaga anyone would love the amenities here including co-working spaces may of course, yung regular mga pool area. So, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. Okay, Marge, yes. I agree sa lahat ng points mo because of the market, the environment. But for me, I would like to give it a 9. So, a bit higher than your reviews, no? Just because a high-end developer giving opportunity to the middle-class market, that's one. Second is, I just like the vibe of the area. Ortigas in general, it's a combination of residential and, you know, commercial properties. Because there's a lot of mall, pero na may maintain niya yung quietness niya in a residential environment. And if you go abroad, Ganun naman din talaga siya. It's not as busy as BGC. On weekends kasi si BGC, grabe. Try to go to high street on a weekend. No? So if you're the quiet introvert type, like me who just wants to like have coffee, sit down on a weekend while reading a book, the convenience of going to the malls, etc. Third again, payment terms. Tama si Brian, tama si Marsh. You can't really compete with this payment term. A 500,000, I'm sure a lot of people would have like half a million to a million sa bank accounts nila. And it's just sitting there, you know, uh, pasok nyo na lang. You can't really go wrong with this property and pay 4,000 pesos a month. It teaches you the discipline as well for you to commit sa property na to. So, having said that, there's a lot of potential, there's a lot of opportunity for this project. Take the chance. Yun lang yung advice ko sa followers natin. Our property review rating is 8.2. Okay, 8.2. So, that's a bit high compared to our other property reviews. Just because it has its pros and cons. Again, our clients, if you're interested to purchase this property, you could email us at info.projectjade at gmail.com. We have a designated email for all in just so we could really answer to your inquiries. We know that it's a very hot project. Okay, Real Pros, thank you very much for joining us. We do have big plans this year. We're back to our regular programming. And don't forget to share this to your friends who are also interested buying this property. My name is Richard Carvajal, your Real Property Expert, and we'll see you next time. Bye!